elected officials, families, friends, and other guests, Goodrich Academy, faculty, staff, and students, and members of the Goodrich Academy Class of 2016. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Class of 2016. Thanks, Mr. Dewar. Welcome to Fitchburg High. That's good. I'll say a couple brief words. Um, first of all, welcome, obviously, to Fitchburg High School. We're glad to host the Goodrich, High, Goodrich Academy ceremony and graduation. I know the only thing that I will add to, to the graduates themselves um, is congratulations to you. You've earned something that can never be taken away from you, and that is your high school diploma. And for many of you, you've probably worked very hard for that. Some of you may have thought that was not possible. Some of you may have battled. You may have battled with yourself, with others. You may have battled with me if you went to Fitchburg High School. Um, but the fact is, you rose above, you had resilience, you got to where you are today. I'm sure that many people helped you with, along the way to get there, like your family and the great teachers at Goodrich Academy. But again, congratulations. This is a huge accomplishment, and I wish you the best in your future. Well, I, I'm really the one that's blessed, and I say this every year because there are very few superintendents who get two graduations and two graduating classes, so I'm very thrilled to be here tonight. I also realize that for many of you, uh, you're not from Fitchburg. You might be from other communities and other communities visiting us. And I want to say welcome and welcome to our schools. And uh, a los otros que hablan en español, bienvenidos y bienvenidos a nuestra escuela. This is a very unique night because it's a night where um, the students that stand before you, that actually sit before you right now, have taken many different pathways. And there have been many ways that they've found their way to Fitchburg and have found their way to Goodrich Academy. They found their way to a place where the people here to my left, they come to work every day, not knowing who the students are that are going to be there, not knowing what those students need. But they identify those needs and they work hand in hand, close with every single student to get them to where we are tonight. This is a fabulous night. Welcome to all of you. Congratulations on your achievement and best luck in anything you do. Class of 2016, let's hear it. Not bad. Superintendent Ravenel, Principal Doerr, faculty, staff, family and friends, but most importantly, seniors. Thank you for inviting me to Goodrich Academy's Class of 2016 commencement exercise. This is the 10th year since this school was established, and I have never missed a graduation. Not because I had to, but because I believe in education, and more importantly, I believe in this school. I know that the staff and faculty at Goodrich Academy works hard to build positive, collaborative relationships with you and your families. I know that Fitchburg's Alternative High School has challenged you to reach your full potential, and you met that challenge. It is because of your hard work and determination you stand here tonight. Each of you deserves to feel an enormous sense of pride. Graduates, this commencement is extremely important because it opens the door to move you into the next chapter of your life. Some of you may go on to college. Some will remain in the workforce or possibly enter the armed services. And you will be confronted with challenges. But what is certain, the door is open to new ambitions and opportunities. I'd, to, I'd like to close with a few words from Massachusetts-born American poet Ralph Waldo Emerson. He was seen as a champion of individualism, and he was a prophetic critic of the influencing pressures of society. He said, our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising up every time we fail. Class of 2016, you should be very proud of your accomplishment. Tonight, I join your teachers, family, and friends and congratulate you for a job well done, and I truly wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. Thank you.
Hi, everybody. I enrolled at Goodrich Academy my sophomore year. But before Goodrich, I was homeschooled, and it was my sophomore year that I considered dropping out and calling it quits, because homeschool wasn't cutting it for me. I was failing in math. I procrastinated and never finished on time, often leading me to do summer school. I felt unintelligent and a failure, like I would never graduate or amount to anything special. But the following September, I was given the opportunity to enroll in an actual high school, well, an alternative one, but close enough. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I was scared. I didn't know anyone, and how would I fare against people my own age? And more importantly, would I even be able to do the work? I decided to stay and take on the challenges of this new environment and do my best. Three years later, I can safely say that I did pretty well. I made friends and enemies and learned things about myself and other people and the importance of effort. I learned the importance of respect and to take constructive, con ugh, sorry, constructive criticism as constructive and not offensive. I also learned to always try to better yourself and to stand out in a good way. And the one thing that I will always remember is to not be afraid to debate your opinion in speech and debate class, even if you are the only girl against all guys. But at the end of the day, all those tests, projects, and essays, they all meant something if we tried. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. These teachers, whether you liked it or not, they were there for you. They were there for us. They wanted us to succeed and go beyond all our expectations. And they didn't even have to know our life story to want that for us. During our years at Goodrich, we all had to make life-changing decisions for our benefit, and for some of us, with our kids in mind. So please, be proud in this moment. Because you fought your way to get here. You proved all those people wrong who said you couldn't and you did. Who said you'll never amount to anything, just do the bare minimum or you're no different than everyone else. But today, you made your family and friends proud. And more importantly, you made the man who started it all proud. So today, graduates, celebrate in this great achievement, your achievements. Be proud to say, I am a 2016 high school graduate of Goodrich Academy. I know I am, thank you. Hello guys, so I have a script for you. <laughs> But it's very short. <laughs> Many of us came into the school with the expectations set by schools that we came from, only to be surprised with open arms and acceptance. Many of us had a hard time at our previous schools, whether that be because of the learning environment or just not being able to find your place. At Goodrich Academy, I, like many others, was able to find my place. I was welcomed with open arms and a new perspective. The fact of the matter is, no matter where we all came from, we ended up at Goodrich Academy. We all have found more than just a school, we have found a home and a family. Every single one of the graduating students here today deserved their diploma. We have all worked very hard to get here. There are many more memories to be made, and each and every one of you is capable than so much more than you give yourself credit for. Now I'm going to go off script for a bit. Sorry, Mr. Dewar. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Um, this could go very horribly, so bear with me. I came to Goodrich Academy as a junior, and I was not doing very well at Fitchburg High. <laughs> I was having a tough time with attending school. I went from being an honor student to getting Fs, and that was very hard for me. I was battling with depression for a while. Sorry, guys. And I, I struggled with a lot of hospitalizations, and that was tough for me because I couldn't come to school very often. And a lot of people didn't believe in me, and I didn't believe in myself. 
But when I came to Goodrich Academy, I was welcomed with open arms, whether that was from the students or from the teachers. And I want to thank all of you for that, the students, the teachers, and everyone here. Um, I really think that we're all capable of more than we give ourselves credit for. I know that I've seen a lot of students struggle with their lives, their selves, and problems with other people. And I can't be more proud to graduate with this group of people. That's all. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Jacob McDonald, and I'm very honored to be here. But I'm also incredibly nervous. <laughs> being, uh, that being so, I'm going to try to forget it for a few minutes and tell you my story. Uh, speaking here today is very out of place for me. Uh, if you actually saw me at Goodrich, the three years that I went there, I never really spoke up more than a couple times a day. <laughs> and, and that was, uh, but I'd only really engage in conversation if you came up to me. You know, I was, I was never really uh, open. And in most cases, people would just come up to ask me, hey, why are you so quiet? <laughs> Usually, I just stare at you. It's nothing against you. It's just the way I am. <laughs> uh, I came to Goodrich after realizing the much larger high school in my hometown was not for me <laughs> in no way. I left that school early freshman year and transferred to the neighboring high school and finished my year there. Halfway through my uh, second year there, I figured out that I was going down the same path. My grades were slipping and my motivation, to say the least, and uh, I really needed to be picked back up. I left that school the very week I first visited Goodrich, like the very week. <laughs> uh, what appealed to me then was the small afternoon classes and minimal homework, <laughs> but I've come to appreciate a lot more valuable things since. I'd say we all know everybody comes to Goodrich for some reason or another, right? And that the teachers and staff accept us for what we really are, young adults who recognize the importance of a high school diploma and, uh, and earning it. That's why I stuck with it. I knew it was a grind. While I was here, nobody would get in anybody's business, and every time someone would bring drama into the school, someone else was quick to shut it out. And I think that was very important. Uh, it seemed that there was a basic respect here in the school that was not present in at least the other two schools I'd been to. Um, my teachers were great. In literature, they say the word great is used too much, and it's kind of basic, but I really mean it here. Um, each of them was passionate about their subjects and were committed to working with the students as an individual. Um, normally, students get lost in anonymity at large high schools, and you know you lose your sense of self, but the teachers here really push that, and I'm thankful for it. Um, my English teachers helped me cultivate my writing skills, which is one of my strongest, um, which really helped me out in getting into college, so thank you. Uh, the lack of words I'd actually speak found their way to paper, and it encouraged me to find my inner voice and actually use it, so thank you, Mrs. Smith and Mr. Kahn. Uh, Mr. Mack kept us current on the world we live in, and Mr. Livingston uh, assured my interest in mathematics, as well as Ms. Gogan with the sciences. Uh, I am grateful to each of them for the confidence they instilled in me and that they reignited in myself. I am extremely grateful to Mrs. Curry because she held the school together as well as me on a few rough days. Uh, so to the teachers of had thank you. In a couple of months, I'll be going to Marlboro College in Vermont. It's a pretty small school because I know it's the kind of place that works for me. I learned that about myself here. I'm looking forward to leaving in August. Now I'm going to shift my tone for a moment. In the three years I went here, I saw something that really disappointed me. I saw students among this community who weren't keen on pursuing their education. By this, I mean they prefer to drop out and give up on their high school diploma. I can't stress how important it is to me that you don't lose yourself to your personal life. Your high school education is a vital step forward, and together we serve as an, as an example that it's possible to achieve. I probably wouldn't have believed you if you told me three years ago where I am now. I know there are things people might be dealing with in or outside school that they, may want, that they might not want to talk about that keeps them from putting their best foot forward towards their academics, you know? It's kind of I think it's extremely important to realize that you're not crazy. There's other kids out there that might be depressed, lonely, dealing with suicide, things like this. Every person has challenges to overcome, 
Each of us has a mountain to climb, but right now we can all take a second to breathe because we're at the top of a pretty big one. And that's all I have to say, so good night and good luck. All right, so I'm gonna try to keep this short, but it might be hard. I don't know if you've ever had a class with me, but if you have, then you know that I'm literally incapable of shutting my mouth, so uh, we're gonna try to tone it in. Um, so, because, you know, you have better things to do than listen to me talk for the next 18 years, so. Uh, first off, I'd just like to say congratulations to my fellow classmates. It's uh, been a literal lifetime for us, but uh, here we are. We're actually legitimately done with high school education, and that's, I mean, that's wild. Like, we've gone from finger painting to typing, from counting to calculus, and from reading to complaining about reading. Like, we've come a long way. So I guess the question we should ask ourselves now is, where do we go from here? We've entered a time in our lives where we've got, our ask, we've got to ask ourselves some really hard questions. Questions that were way easier to answer when we were six years old. Back then, I never hesitated to answer the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because six-year-old me knew everything. I was clearly destined to be a superstar, complete with sparkly pants, a billion adoring fans, and a feather boa. Now, as a grown-up, I'm not so sure. I only have a million fans, and 999,000 of them are just my mom dressed up in different outfits. It's probably the same for a lot of us, not the sparkly pants thing, just the fact that our goals have changed and become less defined with time. I don't think there's even one of us who still has the same sort of perfect, solid, unshakable dream that they had when they were in kindergarten. The concept of the future has slapped us in the face with uncertainty, and we're all still reeling from the questions it's posed. The biggest question, I think, for all of us is the same one that used to be so simple. What do you want to be when you grow up? Do we want to be doctors or nurses, journalists, marines, mechanics, game designers, engineers, veterinarians? I mean, the possibilities are as infinite as they are daunting. Like, we've only experienced so much, how are we supposed to choose? And for those of us who have chosen, how exactly do we get there? What colleges should we go to? How are we going to pay for it? I'm not going to lie, all of those things are really, really overwhelming. If I had to answer them on my own, I think I'd straight up pull a Rip Van Winkle and you would see me in 20 years or so, like just waking up. The most important thing then is to remember that I'm not on my own. We're not on our own. We're not facing this great uncertainty in a bubble. We're not out in the forbidden forest being circled by Acromantula. That's a Harry Potter reference and I'm really sorry about it. Uh, <laughs> our teachers, our families, and our friends are all here to support us. And that's something that's predefined, something that's certain, even if our futures are not so much. Uh, so where do we go from here? Anywhere, everywhere. As long as we have support, which we do, every last one of us can succeed in ways that our six-year-old selves never even considered. That little bit of certainty, that anchor in a sea of doubt, that's something worth a thanks or two. So to the staff at Goodrich, to my family, hi Chris, and uh, all like three of my friends, thank you. The future is far less terrifying with you at my back. I want to thank my classmates too for all of the borrowed pens, the copied notes, and most importantly, the occasional pity laugh at one of my jokes. Thanks. <laughs> Congratulations to you guys and good luck. Maybe this won't be the last time I see you guys in a crowd. After all, it's not too late for me to buy some sparkly pink pants. Following Jenna's theme, when we are little, we all dream about having superpowers. We want to fly, we want to have tremendous strength, we want to be really fast, really smart, or impossible to hurt. Sometimes we want all of the superpowers, sometimes we're asked to pick one. I always wanted to fly, at the very least. Our society longs for superheroes and superpowers. We have Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, the Hulk, Black Widow, Thor, the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Incredibles. They are part of our summer blockbuster movies. We have TV shows and cartoons about them. We watch all kinds of versions for each, and they're a part of who we are. What we really want is to be everything we can. We want to reach our potential, and we want to succeed no matter the odds. It seems like we need to be superheroes to be able to accomplish these things, because life can be so hard. As much as I would like to fly, no part of what I do would be appreciably better if I had that skill. It would not have made me a better educator. The teams I coach would not have won more games. 
I would not be a better golfer. I might find the ball in the woods better, but I wouldn't be better at, at keeping it out. Amazing strength would not have helped me. It would have been nice to run faster, but to where? You don't need superpowers. You need to believe in yourselves. If you are a parent or a big brother or sister, you already are a superhero to someone. Just look at how they listen to you, watch you, and imitate you. If you are a teacher, you have the superpower of being able to share learning. If you are a police or fireman, you save lives. If you have a job, you put food on the table and a roof overhead. Learn what your powers are and maximize them. If you want to be an effective superhero, you do need to get your powers under control and understand them. Spider-Man was ineffective until he learned to channel his strength, get his grip under control, and learn how to shoot webs. That was part of his learning curve. You're in the middle of your learning curve, graduates, but be positive about what you're doing. So far, you have learned you have the power of perseverance. That was a hard one. But you developed the power of sticking with it and getting here to the finish line. You've gained the power of solving problems. You created an academic program at Goodrich that was unique to you and your needs, and you, and you got through that. You also have the superpower now of self-advocacy. There are a lot of people your age who have no idea about this power, but you found ways to ask for what you need and get it. This is something that a lot of people never learn, and that's to their peril. You may never see through walls, but you can see through a problem and find an answer and you can find your way around problems. You may, be able, you may not be able to start fires with your mind, but some of you have the potential to set the world on fire with your ideas. Try it. Most of all, develop the power of compassion. Care for yourself, but care more for others. It is a tough world out there, and what we need most are those heroes who listen to others, help them out when they fall, and are the people who can be counted on when things get tough. Good luck, be strong, and never forget you're someone's hero. Live up to that. Thank you. Phoebe Suzanne Hoffsmith. Judy Nugent. Mickey Tang Tao. <laughs> Jacob Samuel McDonald. Jenna Lee Davis. Andrew James McFadden. Melanie Laurel Bazilian. Christopher John Boschemann. Paige Ray Beauvais. Yeah. 
Brittany Marie Beller. Kayla Mercedes Bernier. Jordan Matthew Boyvin. Allison Elizabeth Marie Boudreau. Kyle Patrick Bergalt. Jennifer J. Bootlier. Jamie Lee Diane Brand. <laughs> Devin Edgar Brisebois. Caitlin May Brochu. Ayana Malia Broder Edmonds. Colton Neil Brown. <laughs> Jezreel Grace Bruno. Nathan John Byrne. Matthew James Catterton. Christopher Andrew Chapman. Happy. Abby Nicole Chenis. Cheyenne Rosa Clapper. <laughs> Hennessy Elias Clapper. Samantha Lee 
Clark Young. Sierra Nicole Cobb. Avery Richard Coleman. Lindy Marie Cody. <laughs> Ashley Virginia Daigle. Keenan McKintry Darcy. <laughs> Vanessa Lee De Jesus. Michaela Lee Del Toro. Mara Diaz. Leah Michelle Dodd. <laughs> Tiara Marie Dowling. Francis Drinkwater. Samuel Lee Ethier. Shaniqua Lila Fisher. Connor Michael Fitzpatrick. Destiny Shiley Fuentes. Chad Whitney Gallant.
Jessica Garay. Joseph Lugger Godfrey. Christian Liam Merch Gordon. Nicholas Brandon Goop. <laughs> Elijah Malik Gray. Daniel James Sheldon Gross. <laughs> Melanie Gualdorama. Salim Araya Haile. <laughs> Cheyenne Autumn Hall Rivera. Anna Catherine Healy. Yeah. Matthew Lawrence Heon. Ashley Marie Higgins. <laughs> Brooklyn Damali Higgins. Douglas Hoyt, Jr. <laughs> Kelly Sabrina Hustis. Katrina Margaret Jackson. <laughs> T. 
Kara Lynn Jones. Bene Asanta Kiho. Olivia McKay Lafreniere. Sadie Iva LeBlanc. Veronica June LeBlanc. Jose Angel Lefebvre Jr. <laughs> Jacob Andrew Lamajri. Dylan Joseph Lydek. Ronald Andrew Martin Jr. Jacob James McAllister. <laughs> Ashley Page McSweeney. Talia Marie Morales. <laughs> Brenna Eve Natalie Jones. Talia Nieves Fernandez. Yeah. 
Yamila Catherine Oliveira da Rosa. Ramon Ortiz. Matthew Carlos Ortiz. Nicholas John Paul. Congrats. Jordan Alexander Pedraza. Pennington. Nico John Peralta. Perez Cruz. Jessica Nicole Ramo.
Edgardo Luis Ruiz Jr. Talia Denise Sanchez Reyes. Zorimar Santiago Reyes. Jason Sai Scott. Natalie J. Schufel. Miguel Angel Sierra. Deja Monet Smith. <laughs> Raymond Michael Smith. Jacob Benjamin Thibodeau. <laughs> Alexander Joel Torres. Chelsea Renee Trussell. Dorothy Velez. Eduardo David Vieira. Haley 
Jacqueline Wolken. Thank you.